and get their things up and going. I hope that trim by 10. I heard winding up in the background and somebody spinning it up. <laughs> well, good morning, good morning, good morning, family. And welcome, welcome to the team. Effort Lifestyle Call where we say you will hear things that will move you from fact to faith to action. It is a beautiful day here on the East Coast, here in the nation's capital. And I'm sure you hope that you're waking up with an attitude of gratitude. Great things that are happening each and every hour in Team Effort Network. We continue to hear testimony after testimony, life changing story after life changing story. And you all are part of making that happen. Well, family, this is your host, Pastor Lee McDowell along with my business partner, Pastor Bell Wafer, and the one and only Vicki Soto will be with us this morning. Yes, she will. Well, Sandra, the line is open. Please go right ahead. Introduce yourself. Let us know where you're calling in from. Good morning, Pastor Denise. This is Maria from Santa Maria, California. Good morning, Maria. How are you this morning? Fine. Thank you. Oh, it's good to hear you this morning. I'm here every day. Yes, you are. Thank you. And we appreciate you so much. Sandy Goins, Dale, Maryland. Hi, Sandy. How are you doing, Sandy? Good morning. All is well. Thank you. I'm good. How about you? I'm doing great. Love that video of you on there inviting people to the Woodmore Country Club. This very good girl, you are something else on video. Well, thank you so much. Well, we have to get that to Robert, though. We have to get it to Robin Hicken while he's putting a major company video together, so we got to make sure we get that to Robert. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you about that. Okay, great. Well, keep it coming, family. This is with us this morning. DC in the house. DC's in the house. All right. Welcome, 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 Robert. How are you this morning? Oh, uh, I'm super duper trim and sprayed up. <laughs> <laughs> did you get your video to Robert? Yes, I did. Robert, I did. did. You? Thank you. Yep, Thank yep. You, I got sir. both of them to him. Yes, okay, ma'am. we're going to really hear some great stories coming forth from the team, from the field, all the great testimonies and the excitement and enthusiasm that people are captured on video. And if you have captured your own video, please remember to send it to Robert because he's putting together a major part that's going to benefit your business. Well, I'm keeping the comments down. Who else is with us this morning? Carla down Cincinnati, Ohio. Hey, Carla, Cincinnati, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm so great, I heard some great things about you, Carla. Oh, awesome, yep, we are, um, <laughs> we're on fire in Cincinnati. We got a Ooh, mission, okay. we're on a mission. That's wonderful, wonderful, looking forward to hearing from you. Okay, um, great. Yes, ma'am. Don Joseph, MBBO, California. Okay, Don Joseph is in the house, family. How are you, Mr. <laughs> Joseph? <laughs> I am doing absolutely wonderful, and the trim is working. I know it is. <laughs> I know it Lance is. Thorne. <laughs> Lance Thorne Hill, Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, what's that from Cincinnati? Lynn Thornhill. Hi, how are you this morning? I'm great, how are you? Good to hear from you, good to hear you this morning, good to hear your enthusiasm. Cincinnati's blowing it up. Yep, we got great things coming out of Cincinnati, out of Ohio. That's, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. We had some great things from Ohio coming here to our TTP this Thursday. I'm excited about that. <laughs> As you all know, one of your great leaders is going to be in our area this Thursday. I'm announce that when I meet out. <laughs> yeah, I'm very yeah. excited about that. But keep it coming, Sammy. Who's with us this morning? One star, two car, Vicky Soto. Good morning, <laughs> Pastor Denise. <laughs> Good morning, the one and the only, the one and the only executive member of Chen, Paul Jackson. How are you, sir? Magnificent, magnificent day. Good morning to you as well. Jesse Bowden, calling from work. Oh, Jesse calling from the Pentagon. All right, that's it for you, Jess. <laughs> Hey, Jeff, we're going to have an awesome TTT this Thursday, guys. I'm telling you right now, you all better get on the phone right now. Get your guests, get your prospects. I'm going to tell you why in a minute, but you all are going to pack the house on the Thursday. I'm going to tell you why in a second. All right, Sam, I get ready to mute on. If you want, go ahead and introduce yourself. Anyone else? 
Lloyd. Pick a spot. We're going to the top. You know me. That's Woo. how we do. Straight to the top, Lloyd. Straight to the top. The conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. Guys, so much. Thank you for calling with me. A great passion, the enthusiasm, the joy of what we're doing. You know, this is uh, what you said. This is true passion right here. And we're all experiencing this joy and this good life because we have better health. And we're making great health convenient here in Team Method Network. So if you know anyone that's having any challenges, don't hesitate to give them a call and let them know your story. Let them know your testimony. Let them know someone else's testimony and get them on board so they can join this joy train and enjoy better health and, and better life and energy and financial freedom and all those great things, loving relationships, all those things that make life worth the living, family. We have it in the palm of our hand. Well, I have some exciting news. I want to share off the top of the hour. We have one of our great leaders. Ooh, listen, NCA, National Staff Area Team, come on, guys, listen up, listen up, and get the word out. This coming Thursday, our great leader from Dayton, Ohio, the one, the only, Denise Moore, will be here this Thursday at our TTP doing the presentation along with us. Ooh, <laughs> I am so excited about that. So, family, Paul, Robert, uh, Sheila, Maureen, everyone, everybody get on the phone. Start telling your guests right now. They're going to want to be in the house this coming Thursday. We're going to blow it up. I'm letting you know right now. So let me pause for the calls right here. Bring on my business partner, Texas, uh, away from. Are you there, sir? Are you there? <laughs> what am I going to do with them, y'all? What am I going to do with them? What am I going to do are with them? Are you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. You were muted again. Right? I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, guys, we've got a lot of excitement on this call. And uh, Thursday night is going to be the bomb here in, uh, in Maryland. If you guys uh, got anybody in the area, you definitely want to bring, bring them here. When you combine uh, what we do here in Maryland and our TTPs with uh, our superstar out of uh, Dayton, Ohio, uh, Denise Moore, who's going to be here to help present, it's going to be a fantastic time. So we're looking forward to it. I'm excited about that. Who I'm calling everybody I know, not everybody, everybody I know, <laughs> to be here this Thursday because it's going to be a phenomenal. It's going to be great. Well, you know, we have always have great calls, always have great testimonies. I always have great stories here on the Team Method Lifestyle call, as well as the calls that we have in the evenings with Mr. T. Show me the money. As you all know, Mr. T is on the call every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern, and Mr. John Joseph and Lloyd Gibson Marinetta, they have the call every Wednesday and Sunday. So keep your team, everyone, plugged in to get all the announcements, the testimonies, and the great things. There's so many testimonies, we can't get them all on one call. So if you can just tune in to the ones that's convenient for you, or all of them if you can, you're just going to get a boatload of wonderful information. But I'm excited to bring to our call uh, Executive Founding Member 10, two-car uh, winner, uh, Mercedes-Benz. She's one of Mercedes-Benz, our sister company, Mercedes-Benz, our 10 company. She's a great leader, growing a powerful team. She's a uh, one-star in Team Effort Network and steadily growing and doing great, wonderful, powerful things. And I'd like to welcome to the call the one and only Vicky Soto. Vicky, are you there? Hi, can you hear me? I can, I can. How's it? Are you back home from Atlanta, Georgia now? No, actually, in fact, when you were talking about that, Pastor Denise, uh, Thursday night, Denise, my, you know, my business partner, Denise Moore, is going to be there, as you announced, and I'm, I'm hurt that I can't go. I want to see that, but I'm on my way to Atlanta on Thursday night because uh, Saturday uh, there's a party in Atlanta for Miss Tanya, Mrs. Tanya Holly, who is a business partner of Lynn Thornhill of Cincinnati. And then Saturday night, I mean Sunday night, I'm doing a party, a grand opening party for Stephanie Eccles, my business partner in Atlanta. So we're we're firing up Atlanta. We're helping Kevin. You know, Kevin had, had said to us, he said, you know, come on, you guys, help me build this area because He's got a huge region, and I said, don't worry, man, we're there. So 
So we're going to be there, and I'll be there for a week. So I'll be in Atlanta for a while. And uh, I know Denise is going to blow it up in, 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 uh, in your area because, well, she's just a powerhouse. She's, she's short like me, but she's full of power, okay? She's just short powerhouse. That's what I call it. You know, I love her to death, and she's going to be phenomenal. So uh, be ready for that. Everybody in that area should go to see her. So, um um, today, I've got something uh, I want to talk to you guys about real quick before I introduce my guest, and that is I want to say the trim is working. You heard uh, Donald Joseph talking about it, my buddy Donald, uh, talking about how the trim is working. Uh, everybody that I've talked to has been telling me wonderful things about the trim, so I'm really excited because we already knew. I mean, you know, Mel told us after, you know, he told us a story about his large pizza. He told us. <laughs> <laughs> that it was going to, you know, change our lives, and he meant that. So uh, we're really excited, and uh, as you can tell, everybody's got their trim, everybody's trying it out, and everybody's spreading the word. So I see 50 million in our future really close here. So um, right now I want to take some time to introduce one of my business partners who you haven't heard from yet, but let me just tell you. Uh, he's a guy that I had known for a few years. Uh, we, we did business together before, and he's close friends with my husband. And the thing about him that I love the most is he never meets a stranger. He's he's very dynamic. He he used to talk on webinars like we did. I don't know if you know that, Denise. There are other people out there that did webinars besides us online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he used to be on online a lot. So I can just tell you that I'm really, really excited to introduce to you guys somebody who uh, uh, his nickname says it all. His nickname is Elder, but he goes by Edward, his real name. Uh, it, it says that he helps people in the church. He helps people in the community. He does so much. You know, there's, n there's not enough time to even introduce him. <laughs> wow. uh, Edward, wow. are you there? He's got to unmute, so this may take a moment. Are you there, You're Edward? Ready? Yes, yes, I, I can. Yes, yes, okay, I can. Awesome. Awesome, um, awesome. Um, I want you to take a moment and just uh, tell people your background, you know, because we call this, uh, we call it Take It to the Top Tuesday. It's the day that we like to bring leaders on, new leaders on the team that uh, haven't been heard from yet. We want to introduce them to the rest of the team. So tell everybody a little bit about your background, you know, both now and, and previous. Uh, well, first of all, thank you so much for uh, giving me the opportunity to be a part of this awesome company. Uh, and I really don't have enough time to, to go into that, how all that transpired. Uh, and I'll share that at a later date. But first of all, I've... Um, I've been in the transportation industry for over 35 years. I actually retired from UPS about two years ago, and after just kind of doing nothing for a few months, I decided to go out and start my own thing, and I just started a delivery service, which, you know, I've been doing that uh, for about eight months now. And prior to that, I was in the service, the military. I served about eight years and started a family, decided to get out and and after getting out of the military, um, the Lord saved me. <laughs> and I got in, you know, uh, was in a, a ministry and, and found myself just serving. And one thing led to another and became a leader in, in the ministry that I've been a part of also for about 30 plus years. Uh, but during that time period when I was working, um, I had something that occurred in my life, which was uh, I ended up getting hurt and losing everything uh, because I was financially uh, strapped. And someone actually introduced me to network marketing, and I found out that it would allow me to have what, what we call a plan B, which I'm sure most people are familiar with, and if they're not, uh, I would truly encourage them to learn as much as they can about that. Um and I fell in love with the industry because of the fact that not only did it allow me to earn extra income, it also allowed anyone, regardless of their past, um, to have the opportunity to do very well financially. So that's kind of where I've come from and, and where we are, are today. Yes. And um, like I was telling uh, 
I was telling Denise, you know, the, the thing that I like about you is you're not shy at all. I mean, when we met, we met, we became fast friends. It was just so funny because, uh, you know, I always say when somebody, when I meet somebody that's like me, who likes to talk and who likes to have a good time, then we become friends. But what I like about you is not only did you, um, not only were you friendly and you were, you know, easy to talk to, you know, you made friends with my husband, which is almost impossible because he's so quiet. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then also I found out that you were broadcasting online and I thought, wow, that's amazing, you know, because I know there are not many people that will step up and just start talking online. So that I think is a really, a really good skill that you have. Um one of the things I wanted you to share with the team is, you know, why you were interested in TEN in the first place, because even though we're not going to probably go into the long story about how this all happened, I do want you to tell them why. When I told you about TEN, you said, you know what, Vicki, I'm, I'm interested because you told me something I didn't know, and that was you were interested in health. But let me, let me just ask, what was it that intrigued you about TEN? Oh, well, um, I'll tell you, uh, to try to just put this in the proper perspective and, and keep it as short as possible, um, one of the things that I found out about the network market industry were, were a company that had products. And my wife um, has struggled with some physical and medical uh, issues for probably 35 uh, plus years, and um, and uh, I was always looking for something to help her with her with her situation uh, because you know we we've been through the doctors we've been through all of the tests and 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 she just never got any relief at all. So there was a couple of companies in the you know down down through my time period in the industry that offered products that were supposed to take place of medicine. And so I, I always, you know, ex, you know, ventured into those type of companies to see, um, okay, if this is, if this is, I felt like it was financially speaking, it was worth uh, taking that chance. And so when you introduced Ken to me, because of your, your character and because of who you were, I believe that it was something that I need to really take, take a look at. But in actuality, I didn't take it serious, I guess because of all of the other, you know, failures that I had had uh, in this particular industry or with these particular products. And so what happened was uh, about four or five months ago, uh, well, about six months ago, I, I myself became very ill. Um, and my wife has been using the product. I, I've seen some, some, you know, I've seen some, 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 some things that have happened, uh, which were good, but I, but me personally, I just really wasn't convinced that this stuff was what everybody was saying that it was. And so I had a problem where my blood pressure, I came on one day from work and my blood pressure was so high that I, I just almost passed out. And I have a daughter that's a, a registered nurse and she came over and she checked my blood pressure. And she said, dad, your blood pressure is extremely high. I've never had any really real serious medical issues. I've always believed in uh, supplements, those type of things. And so I actually called you and I said, Vicki, I remember you sharing your story with me about your blood pressure issues. I said, Vicki, uh, you know, what vitamin spray do I need for blood pressure? And you told me vitamin D. And at the time, I didn't have any and so I actually called Denise Moore, who's a good friend of mine also. We've known each other for several years. And I asked her would she allow me to have one until my order came in. And she did. And, again, me being who I, you know, being who I am and, and just sometimes we can be just kind of sitting in our ways, I brought the, the bottle home and sit it on my, on my desk. I didn't use it for about two or three days. But during that time period, you know, I was told you can't drink, you know, you got to watch your coffee intake, you got to watch your sodium intake. And anyone that knows me knows that I love my coffee. And so uh, one Sunday after church, I decided that I was going to, you know, just give this, this vitamin D a, a, a try. And, and I did. 
And two days later, no blood pressure issues sent. Uh, wow. Unbelievable. No, no dizziness. I drink all the coffee I want to drink, all the chips that I want to eat. I don't have to watch my sodium intake. I probably should, but I don't. Uh, but the sprays, uh, they work. And so on top of that, you know, my wife, uh, she has been on, she has lupus. I have a wife, my wife has lupus, and I have two daughters that have lupus. I actually have a, a my elder sister who is deceased now. She, she died from it many years ago because, you know, back then they didn't know what this stuff was. But anyway, long story short, my wife was on probably about five or six different medications. Uh, Placanel, prednisone, high blood pressure medicine, wow. uh, so on and so forth. And a month ago, she told me, she said, uh, I'm not taking any of my medicines except the Placanel. And, you know, they tell you once you start taking high blood pressure medicine, you, you're on it for life. And so, yeah, that's what uh, I heard and I, and, you know, I knew I was going to be on the call today. So I asked her last night, I said, I just want to confirm with you before I feel something is not true. You're no longer taking your blood pressure medicine, right? He said that's, that's right. True. I was taking it in almost two months. And so I'm I'm uh I'm totally convinced uh that these products work and therefore because of that I've been sharing them with everyone that I can possibly talk to, uh whether people are trying to lose weight or uh, on high blood pressure medicine or whatever the case. I, I tell them, and I've heard the tagline, so I've been using it. We have a spray for that. So uh, yeah. that's kind of my story. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That is the that is what we say. We have a spray for that. And, you know, what you just said, and, you know, i got to tell you something, Edward. Probably shouldn't be telling you this in front of everybody, but when I first saw you that day that I came out for to do a training for the Dayton team, that one Sunday I saw you, I could tell that you did not look like yourself. You looked like, I don't know, you felt, looked like you were battling something. I don't know, I remember thinking, gosh, Edward does not look like himself at all. I mean, you look like you had lost weight. You look like, you know, you were struggling with your health. And I remember thinking, gosh, I hope he is taking the space. I hope now he's taking the space. Then the next time I saw you, I just couldn't believe how different you look. And I was just so happy. I remember thinking, you know, these sprays have been such a blessing to me, my family, and my friends. You know, um, I got on the call with Denise the other day, and we were talking about, you know, you know, she tells her story, as you know, Edward, about her falling down the escalator. She told me she was so thankful she fell down that escalator. Now, you know, you never hear somebody say something like that, but she said that that changed everything for her, you know, and, and I believe that sometimes – you know, it takes, you know, that expression, it's always darkest before the dawn. Sometimes it takes something bad to happen in your life to totally change your life before it, it something really great happens. So I feel, though, I feel, Edward, that, you know, your sickness, as is, is, is much as it really hurt me when you told me you were sick, I knew in my heart that this meant that it was about to change for you. And and I'm so glad, you know, I'm so glad you listened to me. I'm so glad that you're that Angela's doing so much better because she's such a sweetie pie. And, uh, you know, I just want to ask you quickly, what do you think is the most powerful thing about the 10 products? I mean, what what product really uh, stands out for you? Uh, well, uh, if I had to pick one, it would definitely be the vitamin D uh, because, you know, again, it's what I believe has allowed me to continue to live, you know, the type of lifestyle uh, that I desire to live. What I mean by that, you know, I, I believe that medicines and when once you are you have sickness and, you know, disease, things like that, it really hinders you from, you know, the type of lifestyle that you may have been accustomed to. You know, I'm 58 years old. Uh, I'll be 59 in a couple of months. I... I've never uh, been sick really in my whole entire life until this, you know, this instance. And, and it really scared me, Vicky, to be honest with you. And, you know, um, I didn't know what was going on. I, I, I just I began to lose my appetite. I couldn't sleep. Um, you know, I lost about 40 pounds. And, and, you know, and I was going to the doctors. 
and and no one knew. They they didn't know what was going on with me, and they ran tests. They took blood. Uh, I mean, the whole nine yards. And once they did diagnose what the issue was, uh, it was really you know it was something that needed to. It was because of uh, really deficiency in my body that I wasn't getting the proper nutrition and those type wow. of things. And so these sprays really they replace the things and helps the body with that that we are supposed to be getting through our food through uh different you know nutrition and those type of things uh but because of the way foods are being processed these days and and again you know we've all seen the video with dr dr oz about not getting enough sunlight uh well i do love the sun there's no doubt about that i love the sun and so uh, I miss not being able to go out and do the things that I was accustomed to doing. And so for me now, it's a mission. You know, I've been in ministry for all these years, and, and I know that the gospel is what it is, but I also believe that we have to uh, minister to the whole man. So we know so many people that are struggling with cancer and, and all these different uh, uh, genetic diseases. And so if it's even a slight possibility that these sprays can help people, then I just feel that it's, it's our duties, our mission to, you know, to get this information out to as many people as we can. Yeah, I agree. Pastor Denise, I can tell you want to ask him something. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, you know, Vicki, I, I sit here, we sit here and we listen to these amazing stories and we hear the person's heart. You know, we're hearing from Edward that his wife was sick you know, dealing with sickness for 35 years. We, we hear that she was dealing with lupus, that he already lost a loved one because of lupus, that she's on all kind of medications, prednisone included, and that's a terrible drug to take. Prednisone is just uh, probably one of the worst things you could put in your body. And, you know, blood pressure medication. But we're hearing that we're saying, and he's concerned, with, he's concerned with his wife. You're telling me you're not taking any more medication. And she's saying no, not since the phrase. Where do you hear stories like this. Where do you hear this? People getting their health back. You know, getting their strength back, getting their energy back. Like, ever said, getting your life back. Ever, you said you lost 40 pounds. And he was, ever, you're playing pretty much with saying because of the deficiency of nutrition that you needed in your body. Is that basically what it boiled down to? Uh, absolutely. And, you know, it's, it's, it was scary, like I said earlier, and actually last weekend I um, I was at the bank and they had a little uh, J.P. Morgan bank, and they had a scale in there. I decided to get up on the scale, and the result is that I'm, I'm beginning to get my weight back, and that was, you know, that just, that was just over, it, it was undescribable really to know that, you know, I'm not dialing with that uh, that that illness, that issue anymore. You know, I won't go into detail what it was, um, mm-hmm. but um, it, it's just it's a blessing. It's a tremendous blessing. And like I said, you know, I, I heard Vicky say a couple of weeks ago uh, about uh, I believe she had lost a, a dear friend. Uh, and you know, again, when you when you know that you have something that can possibly help people. You know, yeah. yes, the, the money is, is good. I've been in this industry a lot of years, and I've made money. But, you know, it's not always about the money. It's about relationships, you know, the relationships that you mm-hmm. that you build with people that you meet in this industry is more valuable, really, than any amount of money that you ever make. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, and one other quick story, and then I'll just, I'll be done. I uh, My mom is 97 years old. Wow. And I got a I got a call uh, about three months ago during the same time that I was really struggling, uh, that she had caught uh, the flu and then it turned into pneumonia, and she wasn't able to speak, she wasn't able to walk, she had to be placed in a nursing home, and I literally believed that these sprays could help her, and so I drove to to Arkansas where she lives. I'm here in Dayton, Ohio, uh, through a snowstorm. Uh, just to get her these sprays. And a week ago Sunday, which was Mother's Day, I called her, and she's at home. She's she's, she's, uh, she's totally recovered from the pneumonia. 
She's out of the nursing home. She's back wow. walking with a she's walking with a cane, but you know, wow. uh, it's just it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Wow. See, Ooh. that's amazing. That's the ripple effect of these sprays. I, I always say that there's a ripple effect, you know. It not only affects us, it not only affects our family and friends, but it also affects everybody that we touch. And that's yeah. that's just amazing. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy, get Edward. That's that's beautiful. Thank wow, you. Edward, I'm I'm loving the story. I'm praying to God that everybody hear your story. I hear that you're a man of God. But this is our mission. You know, our mission is to help because I present both uh, present spirit, soul, and body blameless, right? So we have to take care of this body, and it starts with healthy nutrition. We have to take Absolutely. care of the body. We need, without the body, we can't get around to do anything. So we have to That's get correct. the word out about about Tim Team Up and Network and these amazing sprays. I do believe God has his hand on Mel and Amy and Sam Gill. I really do. It started with their family. We've got to remember, they started, they started taking the sprays first, and they saw the results. And they said, there's no way in the world we can keep this to ourselves. We have to share. And so from that, from them sharing, that's all we have to do. And we'll keep sharing your story, your testimony about your mom. God bless her soul. 97 years young, getting over pneumonia and the flu at 97. That, that, that's amazing. And uh, then your, your wife, our love, is so good to hear that she's doing better and yourself. You know, I don't know about those chips and soda you were talking about, though. I don't know about a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know about the Terry Whitener. I just said one other quick thing real quick. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, I, I just want to let everyone know that, you know, when you're looking for a company and, and you know, you, there's certain things that you want to look for. And I just want to kind of pick it back on what you mentioned about the, the leaders of the, the founders of this company. I haven't met them. But I've heard this story, I've, I've seen the videos, and just to know what Vicky has shared with me about them, we can we can really feel secure in knowing that we are with an awesome company because there are certain things you look for. You look for the stability of a company. This company has been around for over 10 years. Uh, you, you look for the product. You look for the compensation plan. And you look for the leadership. And, you know, with yourself and, and Pastor Dale that I had a chance to meet a few months ago, um, you know, it's just a great opportunity for anyone that's, that wants to take advantage of it. And I agree yeah. with you. I, and I said it's what you want to look for, great leadership, people that love people. All the years of experience that they've had in network marketing, one thing they saw that most, uh, most companies overlook the importance of every company, and that was the people. And that's the one thing Mel and Amy Gill, they saw that it was really about the people. I mean, about the people. You know, you have no relationship. Or you have no business. Absolutely. You have no company. So we do. God has given us the best CEOs. I think in any, I, I, I can say confidently, that any network marketing company I've ever heard of. Would you agree with that, Vicky? I agree. In fact, I, I, that's one of the first things I say to people when they ask me about the business. When they ask me about Ten, I say, first of all, let me tell you that the people at the helm of this company. I love yeah. them. I know them. I know their hearts. That's what I do. Yeah. yeah. And, and the fact that we can say, we know them. We sit down with them. We eat with them. We talk to them. We text them. You know? <laughs> so whatever <laughs> company does that, right? <laughs> right. Hey, let's bring in Pastor Dale. Pastor Dale, are you still there to add to this conversation? Well, I tell you, uh, you know, Elder Edward, you're just, you know, it's just uh, amazing to hear your story. And to put this story in the repertoire of all the other stories that we're hearing about the product and how the product is changing lives, you know, you know, we have five fantastic sprays. Uh, D3 is one of your favorite, and it is one spray in our company uh, right now, the number one seller. Uh, but when you think about, you know, people's life and their sickness and their disease and what they're going through, and you hear their story about, you know, I'm not being challenged with that anymore. And they contributed to the sprays because the only thing different that they did was start using the sprays. And, uh, you know, you know, as we always say, you know, we give the disclaimer, we can't say that we, our product will heal or cure anybody, but listen to the testimony for yourself. And that's what I tell people all the time. They say, well, are you saying that this is going to help me? I say, well, I'll tell you what. I can tell you a whole lot of people that have the same kind of challenge that you're having that they've 
they're much improved as a result of being on this product. So when you hear stories like this, you know, you want to, you know, it, it should help give you the confidence to know that you have a product that can help people. And the number one thing that we do is helping people. Our number one product is changing people's lives. When you can change somebody's health situation, you've changed their lives. So I'm glad to hear uh, the product is working so well for you. Uh, I'm glad to hear, you know, you, you know, you are a businessman and you understand the value of this. And, uh, and so we're glad to have you a part of our team and a part of what we're doing and looking forward to helping you build even, even stronger uh, in the months and years to come. And, uh, you know, Vicki, you're building a solid team there. Uh, you got Edward now. you got Denise. you got a whole lot of other people that you're bringing into the fold. Uh, you know, you must be going for two. St- you must be going for two star or ten star. Which one are you going for first? <laughs> hey, I'm like Denise. I'm going for ten star and platinum star. Okay. <laughs> That's right, babe. All the way to the top. <laughs> All the way to the top. I'm learning from her. She's been mentoring me in her own way. I mean, it's like, okay, well, this is going to go for platinum. I'm going for platinum star too. So. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, great having you on the call, Edward. Looking forward to uh, seeing you again. And uh, thanks so much for your testimony. Thank you, Pastor. Oh, thank you. Hey, Vicki, I want to ask you something before we bring in our quote. Um, like Pastor Dell just said, you're really building, building a phenomenal team uh, there in Dayton and Cincinnati and, and Louisville. And I just want to ask you this, because this week we talked about, and Nakisha talked about, <clears throat> go <clears throat> writing your goals down. Are you one that writes your goals down? Oh, my goodness. I'm not only one that writes my goals down. I'm one who revises my goals, too. (laughs) In fact, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that, Denise, because in front of me, I'm in my office right now. I've got this sheet, and, you know, I start writing my goals, and then, you know, about a month or so later, I'll look at them and say, okay, this one is not on track. Let me revise this part. And, and, you know, I'm a firm believer that if I don't have my goals sitting in front of me, I won't accomplish anything because it's like building a house without plans, without a blueprint. You have no idea where you're going if you don't plan it. You know, so um, I think it's extremely important. And and I say to people, if you don't have a business plan and you don't have goals, then you are not really in business. You know, you're Uh just kind of doing whatever comes, you know, whatever comes up. (laughs) You know, I just want to say that because I know people say, well, how is it that Vicky is getting all these great leaders? And how is it that Denise is getting all these great leaders? And how, what are they doing? That's what they're doing. They're writing down their goals. They're writing the vision. They're making a plan. But keeping it before them, you can do this to everyone. If you're not uh, getting accomplished what you want to get done, that you must network. If you're not finding the aces that you need to find for your business, it's probably because you're not writing down your goals. Something as simple as that would block your business. You know, they did a, a we're going to end the call, but they did a, a, a survey. They did a, they did a study at Howard University in the 70s. And the study was simply uh, on goal setting. And they discovered that those who wrote their goals, uh, were more successful than those who did not. So that's a really simple, easy step, easy thing to do. If you want to be successful, start by writing your goals. Just write it down. Just write it down. Look at it, mutter it, meditate on it daily, and just watch it come to pass. Just wanted to you to share that with because I know that's exactly what you do to be successful. Well, I, I have to well, say this too. I have to say this too, Pastor. I'm not only goal oriented. I'm also task oriented. So. You know, I learned from corporate America that setting a goal and then lining up the tasks for that goal are so important. So what I do, and I don't know if other people do this, but I've been doing it for a while, and I I sit down and I write out the tasks that I need to do each week so I can accomplish that goal. And uh, I would say that if you don't have that ability, the skills, or haven't learned how to do that, you know, it might be – it may – mean millions of dollars for you to get some kind of uh, education, you know, to look for a class will help you to plan and to um, to write out tasks and things like that. Mm, love it. Love it, family. Great. Thanks here on the team of com. Thank you, Soto. Thank you so very much for bringing on Edward. Edward, thank you for your story. Keep telling and keep sharing because now it's part of our story. We're going to share it as well. We're going to talk about your wife. We're going to talk about you and your 97-year young mother. Yes, we will. Um, I, you know, I know we want to keep uh, Kevin Vaughn in our prayer this week. 
I don't really want to bother him this week. I know he has some things that he needs to give attention to. Um, so I'm going to go and reach out to Robert Smith here in the NCA uh, area to give us our quote for the day. Robert Smith, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Wow, wow, what a fantastic call. Oh, Vicky. Oh, you know, you super duper. Uh, I have three quick quotes like Kevin would say. Uh, the first one starts off by saying, start by doing what's necessary, then do what's p- possible. And suddenly mm-hmm. you, will, you will find yourself doing the impossible. Mm-hmm. Second quote, and that's by Francis Assisi. Second quote says, if opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. Milton Burley. <laughs> Third quote says, the most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or touched. It must be mm-hmm. felt with the heart. Helen Keller. Back to you, mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Robert. Thank you, Robert Smith of NCA. Thank you. Vicki, are you trying to say something there? Oh no, I was just I was just loving the the, the diverse <laughs> quotes there. That was awesome, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, yeah. I love it. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome for awesome people. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the one that says opportunity, option doesn't knock and build the door. I love that. But there's another one that says opportunity. So don't knock on the door opportunity. Kick that bad boy down and introduce yourself. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Kick it down. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> well, it's been another phenomenal call. Vicki, once again, is going to be in Atlanta, Georgia this week, starting Thursday, Vicki. Yeah, well, I'll be traveling on Thursday, but I will be there for the Memorial Day weekend. So, yeah, I'll be in Atlanta. Okay, family, get your get together because pick it from Atlanta. And once again, NCA, get yourself ready for this Thursday. The one and the only that needs more is going to be an LTTP. Get on the phone right now to the call. Send out the words right now. Get your prospects in the house. This Thursday, I guarantee they will join Team FM Network. Who wouldn't join such a great uh, company? And guess what? Denise is going to be sharing a first-time testimony at LTTC. Now, she may have shared with her team members that she shared with me this morning a testimony she has not yet told. So it's going to be shared this Thursday, family, at LTTC, an amazing testimony she has about the vitamin spray. So <clears throat> get your guests in the house. Uh, today is Tuesday. Don't forget to join Mr. T tonight. 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Show Me the Money Call. They blow it up on Tuesday evening, so if you don't have a, uh, uh, you know, uh, any, you have guests that couldn't make the morning call, get them on the call tonight. And don't forget to join and like the Facebook um, corporate page, uh, Team Effort Network. It's Team Effort Network, Facebook corporate page. Please go ahead and like this page so you can be updated on all the announcements. And get your videos to Robert Dickens. Remember, he said, take your phone, your iPhone, get someone to record you, giving your name, a little bit of background about yourself, and talk about a testimony, a 60-minute testimony in regards to Ken, and get that to him because he's working on a phenomenal project uh, that's going to be beneficial to our business. Um, well, Vicki, anything to say? Pastor, anything to say before we close out? I have one thing to say. Terry Whitener, thank you for recording this call, and every <laughs> call I use these calls all the time. Thank you, dear, so much. <laughs> you know, I thought about Terry when Edward talked about those chips and soda. I said, uh huh, that was Terry White and I used to do that. So, Edward, what are you going to do about those chips and soda? What was that? I'm sorry. Edward, what are you going to do about those chips and soda? Oh! <laughs> I love my chips. I love my soda. <laughs> Okay, well, we know what's happening. I got okay. to pray for it. I gotta oh, you got to pray for that? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm going to try and get him to eat some trim, but he, he's, so, he's, he's so slender anyway. I don't know if that's such a good idea. <laughs> well, well, that would be well, well. You know what, Vicky? I got my trim in yesterday, and, <laughs> I have, and I have been using it, and I love it. I do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're trying to put on weight, Edward, remember, this takes a half a pack of day. Right, right. I don't drink drink much. I don't drink much of it. I just want to keep it going, keep it moving. Yeah, I I take half a pack and it tastes so good. It really does taste good. I take half a pack a day. Well, family, it's been a great call. Thank you all for being here today. Now, what do we say? Get out this call and get out there and tell someone the great things that you heard upon the team effort lifestyle call. Be back with us again tomorrow morning as we continue to move forward. And Team Effort Network, making great health convenient family. Love you all. Know that you are loved. You are appreciated. God bless you all. 
and have a prosperous day on purpose. Mwah.